the flames were coming through here and through here. The wind was blowing so hard and so hot. Your face was blistering. Your eyelashes were curling. Helicopters still douse hot spots by the hill near Tenasket, where Valerie Demeron's house once stood. Down here is what's left of my handicap ramp. 25 years of memories and belongings destroyed by fire. There's the bus. That's what I'm staying in. Wildfire worries are now replaced with concerns about the cold coming. Oh, it's cold. It is cold. She has no home, no heat, no winter clothing. Everything I owned was on top of that hill. Dameron is joined by others who hate asking for help, but don't have a choice. How are you going to do it? How are you going to replace these things? You, you don't have the money. Victims of the wildfires are turning to the Tenasket Community Cultural Center for help. And that's where we find the United Way, looking for people who need the basics, from insulation to warm clothing, anything to start over. The Como for Problem Solvers and our viewers yeah have a check for you for more than $60,000 wow. to help the people here in Tenasket, wow. Chelan, Douglas, and Okanagan counties. That is amazing. Thousands of people have lost something they can't replace, but the check gave them hope. Knowing how many people it really is going to help and how much they really need it. Not just me, but everybody. Sometimes losing everything makes little things mean so much more like a donated comforter. Brand new in the bag. You couldn't ask for anything more.